As you can see, hundreds of student athletes participated in the Survivor's Walk at the 2016 Relay for Life to show support for this important cause. Head coach Kip Drow notched his first win since joining Georgia Southern. And tonight they defeated Savannah State 64 to 48. With four players in double digits, he said it was more of a team win. Despite a game high of two RBIs and a team high of seven putouts to Ryan Cleveland, the Eagles fell 4-3 to three during the first game of the series against Texas State. And in the second game, it was just the opposite as the Bobcats took the early 2-0 to zero lead. So going into the locker rooms, what did you tell your players? Well, we were disappointed. We had thir three fumbles. And Talk about the emotions of this game. Just walk us through what it was like, especially in the first quarter, or in the first half, excuse me, when it was kind of a back and forth scoring battle. Uh, we knew uh, that we were going to have to get adjusted to their tempo. And Last time they shared the court was back in 2011 when their high school won the state championship. And although there's something special when the two joined forces, Individually, they've proven to be just as valuable. AJ found out that his brother had cancer during the middle of one of his football games. And since then, he's used Allen's strength as an example when things get tough. After these midweek games, softball heads to Louisiana Monroe to face the Raging Cajuns in a conference series this weekend. For GSEagles.com, I'm Trisha Fishbian. Let's welcome to the field, your Georgia Southern Eagles. Defensive end Lenny Richardson is pretty familiar with adversity. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's From the death go, of his go, mother and grandmother when he was younger to facing multiple injuries. For him, football has helped him overcome these setbacks throughout the years. Oh, it taught me, you know, um, it taught me a lot about life. You know, it taught me how to be, you know, disciplined and just approach everything, you know, from a different perspective. It teaches you, you know, the bond with, bond with other players so you can take that into, you know, the real world. But football isn't the only thing that taught him about discipline and teamwork. Richardson joined the Army after playing for Troy and Georgia Southern back in 2008. I really, I really need to get my life back on track, so I figured if I joined the Army, you know, it, it would help me with all that. So by the time I got out and came back, you know, I was, I was more focused and I really know what I wanted to do in life. After taking four years off of college football, Richardson returned to the Eagles in 2013 to come back stronger than ever. Since his time here at Georgia Southern, he's worked under three head coaches, including current head coach Willie Fritz. Richardson is just a fine young man, you know, well, obviously four years of service to our country, but he's got three children, he's 27 years old, he's going to be finishing up his degree. Uh, he's battled through all sorts of injuries and adversity. I always told myself I wanted to finish whatever I started. So I wanted to graduate college and you know, finish playing football. So that was one of my, my biggest factors coming back to school. With his many accomplishments, both on and off the field, and his maturity, the team looks up to Richardson. You can tell the guys have a lot of respect for him, as which they should. He's seen it all, done it all. And you know, he talks, I kind of watch, and the guys, you know, Listen to him. And Richardson and the Eagles face the Citadel on Saturday for Military Appreciation Day. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. For GSEagles.com, I'm Trisha Fishbian. Walking one mile might seem easy to student athletes. This event is not a stunt or a show, and it's certainly no walk in the park. But there's a catch. Doing it in heels. It was very painful. Uh, luckily, it was only a mile, so it wasn't too bad. Men's tennis, basketball, and soccer joined over 300 other men and volunteers for the Walk a Mile in Her Shoes event. It was a fun way to raise awareness about gender violence. It was worth every step. One of the reasons is because we have um, female student athletes, and they experience the same thing that all female students experience on campus. And I think it brings awareness not only from our side, but also when you get athletics involved, you get these, you get tall basketball players walking and it brings, people just start looking and start asking questions, what are they doing? And the time spent wobbling in heels was also spent reflecting on the cause. I mean, it definitely makes you think about it more, doing stuff like this, you know. Uh, we are so busy, so it's sometimes quite hard to think about um, everything else going on. Although the student athletes and associate AD Tracy Ham enjoy different parts. Taking the shoes off. <laughs> Well, that cookie I just had was very nice. They agreed the best part was seeing the teams participate. No, just to see the basketball players, the soccer players, 
um, all the different sporting, to see them walking in shoes, it's a real feat to be able to walk in those shoes. Just seeing everyone have fun and raise awareness, you know, it's great to see uh, the whole community come together and it's great to see how much support everyone showed for this course. For GSEGirls.com, I'm Trisha Fishbeam.